Hey, what up, Tony? Hi, Tony. What What is this? It's a, it's a show. We're, we're reviewing we're reviewing a movie. But I'm but I'm at like my house. How does? So are we? Why are you guys here? I mean, you, have, you, you have it set up for a show. I mean, it's clear there's a DVD there. Oh, okay. So about that, um, because I'm very famous. Uh, I use that fame to like talk to girls and I'm always like, hey, come back to my place. We'll shoot like a review. Uh, and it's just an excuse for girls to talk to me. And then I never upload the video. Does it work? Uh, no, it's it. I never had sex with any of them. So when you bring them in here, do you lock the door like a Bronx tail and go, now you can't leave? <laughs> What movie did you want to talk about again, Royce? I don't remember. Oh, Blade 2. We're talking Blade about Blade 2, two today. Blade 2. So here I am <laughs> at my house uh, and with my good Latinx friend, Royce, who um, just showed up, even though I told him never be on the show again because he's always getting to fights on Twitter and he's very problematic. I outshined him. I got I got some comments that you were some kind of supremacist. I don't know what was that was about. Oh, Burrito Supreme. I'm a big fan of Burrito Supreme. Oh, okay, okay. You know what? I'm with you there. <laughs> yeah. Now, uh, because we all know we have to properly introduce everyone. Who the hell are you? Hi, I'm Joy of Pessy. Um, I don't know how I ended up here. The door was unlocked. <laughs> so, so you just walked in. Do you have yeah. to walk into doors have, that are unlocked? Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> have you seen Blade 2? Oh, is that what? Yeah. Oh, as a matter of fact, yes, and I have notes. This is gonna I work out. I have notes too. This is gonna work out. I can't believe you showed up unannounced for a Blade 2 review and I just happen to have notes for it. What kismet? <laughs> this accidental YouTube show worked out better than most planned ones, if you ask me. <laughs> so yes, Blade 2. Ugh. I feel like I, I feel like it should have like a subtitle, but I don't know what it would be. Um Blade 2 Tax Shelter. <laughs> Blade 2, the best Blade movie, but also not a good movie. <laughs> That's very wordy, but I actually agree with him. So yes, Blade 2. Um, obviously, everyone was pumped for this when it came out. A Bla I love... I mean, think we, about it. We didn't have comic book movies back then, so that was yeah. a big deal. Well, this is this is two thousand what two? So they're starting to become more regular. S Spider Man. Spider Man. Uh, we just got X Men at that point. Ben Affleck's Daredevil. When was that? That's the year after. I oh, think. okay. That, that, that's all. Of, that whole area to me is like a blur. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. It's like pre, the pre MCU era. Uh, yeah. So I was very excited to see this. I saw this in the theaters. Uh, me and my friend loved it. It was great uh, at the time. That's at what we time. thought. Um, yeah, and I was just like, you know, when I was in the theater, I actually said in 2002, I'm like, well, this is a win for diversity and the Latinx people because they gave it to a Mexican director. Now, Royce, how did you feel about they this? Weren't, first off, they weren't using that term yet. I'm positive. I was. I was very ahead of the curve. Wow, really? Okay. Yeah, I always um, said it. So how did I feel? I thought it was a really, really big win for the nightclub scene. All these movies back then always had to have a techno fan yeah. scene. It was the weirdest thing to me, and we just accepted it. We were like, that's pretty cool. There's a lot of lights blinking. <laughs> I also find that it was a it was a it was a big momentous uh, revival of uh, German expressionist fashion. <laughs> yes, <it laughs> really tight, was. tight leather and uh, just tight. <laughs> Hey, you don't want to you 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 don't want to get wet. No, yeah, you know no. what? It's funny that the the vampires of the previous blade are all like cyberpunky looking sort of like they, yes, they, that's a very good point. Yeah, yeah, but then I guess because they're in like Eastern Europe or something, these vampires are dressed very differently. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so I didn't really know who Guillermo del Toro was at that point. Yeah, well, I, well, I've seen Mimic, but I wasn't aware that he did it. And that's how he got the job on this, actually. Was this, and, this was before Hellboy, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, qu quite a bit well, before okay, Hellboy. Okay. Yeah. Uh, first off, going back to what you said, their weekend should have also been rain with all the leather they were wearing. <laughs> and um, it, it, it was, it was more Euro trash vampires is the way I would describe yeah. it. Yeah. Like, yeah. kind of like, you ever, you ever seen the Nick Kroll when he talks about the, the, the spotted ho uh, hostel? In it's in it, the Kroll, the Kroll show that he had. God, I haven't watched Kroll show. Really good, but yeah. anyway, it's 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 it's. I've definitely seen. I've seen every episode. Yeah. I just don't remember. Probably they would on their free time. The vampires wear track suits and stuff. <laughs> you know? yeah. Um, but yeah, speaking of Hellboy, uh, Mike Mignola 
was a visual consultant on this film. And uh, what's his face? Norman Reedus is wearing a oh yeah the, the Hellboy like logo shirt. The whatever the company was. So I think this mm-hmm. might have been the origin of like the Hellboy movies. I also think this was the film where there was finally that crossover in history where. Edward Furlong was too fucked up, so Norman Reedus <laughs> stepped in. That's I right. kind of look similar. This Norman might have been the first thing I saw him in. Norman Reedus was the was like the poor man's uh, Furlong yep. for a while. If you think Tree about Furlong, it, yeah. yeah. And now, obviously, he's you know still has a career while the other now one Furlong's doesn't. the poor man's <laughs> to, Furlong. To be fair, their career was video games and doing Walking Dead Five: Rise of the Machines. <laughs> but you know, at least he's still being invited. <laughs> um, yeah. So. There was a good team there. And like I said, the one producer, the one producer on this had a company that did like uh, title sequences and whatnot, I think. And they did it for Mimics. That's how he met Del Toro. And he liked Del Toro. Steve Norrington didn't want to come back to direct, which I thought was odd. That's weird. The first one was like such a success, right? Yeah. And we looked up the other movies he had done afterwards. And it's like, uh, they're not super impressive. And and it's, they did... The thing with it's been a while since we played too. We were yeah. actually talking about talk about this before earlier, but like, um, well, you didn't hear. You were sleeping when you're home. We were whispering into you while you were sleeping. That's how long you guys have been here. Yeah, we had cereal. Oh, Captain Crunch, good choice. Thank you. Milk's gotten bad though, and also you're out of milk. What the fuck? And also you're out of milk. Um, and juice. Sorry. Sorry, we were thirsty. <laughs> um, okay. So anyway, <laughs> keep going. Uh, anyway. Um, the the thing with Blade Two, I've always remembered it as the best Blade, and mm. and and you know it might actually still be the best Blade, but like Pessy said earlier, it's still not really a good movie. <laughs> no, I mean, or, or maybe that's not fair. That's not fair. It doesn't hold up. There are I still think it holds up for the most part, but there are weird things in it that are very dated or just didn't make sense. Um, let me see here. Donnie N is in this. Okay. And he was one of the fight choreographers And he on was it. fucking underused. Oh, he was. oh my God. Thank you. Yeah. You get that guy and you have him like do two things. It could be a thing where maybe like he wasn't ready to like act as much Fair. yet, but he, he choreographed a bunch of those well, fights. That's the thing though. But that's the thing. He, okay. You've seen Ip Man, right? Uh, no, I actually haven't okay, seen any of the scene, Ip Man's. There's a scene in Ip Man where Donnie N fights like fucking 70 dudes and he's fast and yeah. it's brutal. The fact that he choreographed this wireframe Cirque du Soleil fucking bullshit <laughs> is insane to me. I don't know if you choreographed those parts, because there were multiple choreographers. I think he did more of the hand-on-hand stuff. I, I think I think that, it, well, a couple of things. You say he's not ready to act yet. I looked it up while we were watching Blade mm-hmm. 2. Wesley Snipes has, like, ten lines in the movie. Oh, my God. He does, <laughs> no, really, I want you to... If, he doesn't if, talk if, a lot. If you pay it, he, he talked way more in the first one. Yeah. In the second one, all his badass action stuff, but all his... And we actually did... We, we went through the script and we, we searched. 90% of his speech is just him answering somebody's question. Like, Blade, what's this? <laughs> it's a hemoglobin. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> like, it's not... He never... Blade is not a great conversation starter. Yeah. The best is when you have a secondary character just going... Like this whole thing, and then Blade. Nice. <laughs> yeah, there was a scene where he literally goes, "Nice." Um, oh, cool. Now, well, oh, now, the hemoglobin punch thing. That's yeah, what it was. It was like techno babble, yeah. and then he goes, "Nice." Like he yeah. understands it. Now, now, there was a cameo lined up from this, mm-hmm. ac- according to my research here. Apparently, Michael Jackson was going to have a cameo. I read I, that. I believe he was going to be some kind of vampire pimp at a club. They ended up, he, there was a scheduling thing. He wasn't able to do it. They reshot it with another guy, and then they ended up deleting it anyway. Yeah, my, he had a date with Corey Feldman. <laughs> allegedly. Allegedly. Yeah, he's dead. Alleged, you know, people are still trying to be smart to me. He's still getting in oh, trouble. Allegedly. Hey, allegedly. 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 He, st- he, still had some, he still had some, you know, he had some uh, real uh, blood sucking to do. <laughs> Come on, man. We're having fun here. Allegedly. We're, allegedly. We're, allegedly. We're, allegedly. We're, forced, allegedly. we're forced guests in his where's, home. Where's the camera? Which, which camera? Like, allegedly. allegedly. You're, you're, that's your camera. Alleg- allegedly. Alleg- allegedly. This is the nicest B&E you've ever dealt out with, huh? This isn't a B&E. <laughs> this is an Airbnb. <laughs> this is just my house. B&E. Where I lure girls with my internet fame and okay. fail to sleep with well, them. Well, you lured two weirdos. <laughs> yeah, it backfired. I think it's working, Tony. It backfired. <laughs> they, come, they show up so, baby. I got the entire... Uh, one season of the Blade TV series. You want to watch it? <laughs> Which, by the way, someday we're doing that supplemental. Yes, yes, we should. We yes. should. Um, 
So yeah, I guess we'll uh, just go through the movie here. Sure. So it starts off with a man named Nomac uh, at a blood bank. Mm -hmm. And I love that the one guy- He's a Microsoft guy. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking anyway, hate you. I love that the one you. guy's like, this blood bank is the best. You can donate however you want. They yes. even take it in jars. Oh, yes. Anyone would be like, why would they? That seems really unsanitary. What's going on here? Hi, yeah, I'd like to make a donation. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. But yeah, so uh, Nomad is there and he's like, yeah, I need like a transplant. And they're like, oh, there's something weird about your blood. We want to look into it. And then they strap into a fucking chair. The fucking and the claw. Freddy Kluger needles. Like what? Kluger. The Freddy Kluguliger needles. Kluguliger. Yeah, Frankie Kluger, like which is yeah. a great value Freddy Krueger. From Nightmare on Elmwood. Jessica, make Freddy Krueger. This will be this will be com uh, comparable to uh, <laughs> Crystal's Mike or Miles. <laughs> Freddy Krueger. Thank thank you for all the work you do, Jessica. I know we make it hard, and I want to say he <laughs> might not appreciate you, but I do. The Freddy Krueger from the scary of Dream Street. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, oh, he was made by John Woodworker. <laughs> Blade, I'm sorry. I apologize. By the way, so it's needles. I mean, what use is a needle that's like a glove? Like, that, th that seems like a bad idea, it's right? It's the worst weapon. You could just use one needle. Yeah, like one needle. Here, we get one needle and we put it like on some sort of stick. Yeah. And we do this motion at them. I feel like that's way more efficient yeah. than a hand needle. <laughs> so, um, but I like the misdirect in the beginning because I don't think this is based off any particular comic. They're like doing no, their no. Own the, thing. The, the, this is this is the this, they're, this is like their own stuff. Yeah, because yeah. the first movie, like Deacon Frost, was a character. Yes. there were some winks and nods. Like I said, they set up for Morbius and then deleted it. Uh, because even back then, the no one liked Jared Leto. I know. <laughs> no, back then they wanted Morbius to be its own thing. Yeah. Well, they eventually did it. And anyway. it was worth. It was the worth. Way. It. <laughs> it's Morbin time. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, favorite, so I like the mystery. My favorite scene of Morbius is when he puts the needle back in the infected hole. Just, <laughs> <laughs> I don't even remember anything that happened to Morbius other than the dance scene and the weird flying. <laughs> anyway, anyway. So I like the Mr. Act that you think this is like a sick dying man. Yes. And then like he's crying and then he's like laughing and just like jaw splits open. It, we don't see the full on jaw split yeah. at that point. But I love when he bites the one vampire and the blood just like fucking launches on the wall. I did. I, I will. I will give it credit. Like I really did like the. Okay, we've did the vampire thing. Adding another element to it yeah. with the mouth thing. I will agree that was kind of cool. Yeah. Because it was like oh so because in the first one you're like by the end of the first one, you're like oh they've already figured out how to kill vampires easily. But then if you make one like oh these are harder to kill. Yeah. It, it makes it a little harder. Yeah. It's kind of like playing the, the, the sequel to a game. You know they can't start you with all the same powers. Yeah. 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 Um, so yeah, I like uh, after this opening, uh, Blade says hi to us. He's mm. like hi, I'm Blade. My name is Blade. I was born half human, half vampire. He's like, and then my friend Whistler died, and they took him. And right there, I'm mean, be in the theater being like, what? Wait, the vampires went back for Whistler? Yeah, they went back. Wasn't the point that they wanted him to like sit there and die and turn and then there was a mercy it, killing? It, it was, it, I think it was just one of those scenes where they threw in where they needed a reason to have that fight scene. Like the, the movie, the movie does, from the very first scene of the movie, it's like, oh, they throw all this action at you like immediately. Yeah. Which, and, and movies in that genre, in that era always did that. But it was like, no. they threw all this action and they go, well, why are we doing this? And every scene they had, the, it, it was always a flimsy reason. Like, oh yeah, Whistler, they took Whistler early. We didn't tell you, but yeah, he's it's gone. Like, wait, it's like, so Deacon Frost, like uh, killed him, went to turn him, and then you had to mercy kill him. And then I guess other vampires went back for him and then yeah. put him in a blood. How did the other vampires find out he was dead? Like, like they, the they trace his fingerprints that he had on a jar of blood that he turned in at the blood bank. <laughs> A mason wait, jar. Wait, like, why? What was the need? I guess it was just like, well, you got to bring him back. He was in the first one. Yeah, it's no, like, of course. But it's just like you didn't have to. Like, wh why not the the doctor lady? Like, have even, her be even, part if of you, this. even if you wanted a cameo, you could be like, oh, he recorded this video from and do something dumb like, like that, like Jamie you know? Kennedy and Scream Three. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Maybe they just maybe they just went back and found him because he's an old man, so there was blood in his stool. And they just oh my God. The trail. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Poor guy. <laughs> anyway, Kenny Rogers. Uh, I thought Whistler. that was. I always thought that was weird. Uh, bringing Whistler back. Uh, it was. Just, it was just bizarre. But the whole suit up scene kind of gave me Batman Forever vibes. Oh, where it's yeah. like we gotta zoom up on this and this and this. Well, everyone does. Everyone gives Schumacher shit for that, but 
there, there's a lot of movies that did the whole suit up scene like yeah. that, like the whole quick cut. Yeah. Like, oh, sure. Even oh, freaking, my thing. Uh, the first Nolan movie, they do a suit up scene. Meteor yeah. Man, they do a suit up scene. <laughs> I mean, I'm serious. And, Obviously, uh, Meteor uh, Man. Yeah. I mean, it's a great movie. It's our Amazing favorite movie. movie. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I wore out my VHS copy of that as a kid. <laughs> Not a lie. <laughs> so Blade is uh, hunting down people who know who Whistler is. Uh, yeah. And he's like chasing these vampires and it's pretty cool. And then we get the first example of the thing that ages the worst in this film. The rubbery CGI body doubles. Oh, yeah. And this was not exclusive to this film. This was a problem for a lot of movies at the time. Uh, of course, the same year Matrix Reloaded. Which, by the way... I'm sorry, you mean the Dark City ripoff? Yeah, I've seen it. Yeah, which, by the way, uh, that I think we mentioned in the one Matrix uh, episode, when I rewatched Matrix Reloaded, that fight with him and all the Smiths... It's so bad. No, no, but the thing is, I forgot how good it starts. Yeah. Oh, when yeah, 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 the yeah. People... More, so, so it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a pie chart. It's, it's like a flow Yeah. Chart. More Smiths... Less quality. It goes yeah. down. Because when it's just, when, when they're using doubles and stuff like that, you're right, the fight is, but the moment that he did the pipe thing, I'm like, oh, this is. And then this it is. switches all to CG. It gets yeah. so worse. So in this movie, to this movie's credit, they try to like blend it in and out. It like, it actually does something cool where it is like the live action actor and will go into CG and then back right. into live action. Uh, but it's the movements that are so awkward and wonky. It's and it's the one where great. he's like coming down. Big Henry Cavill mustache <laughs> vibes came. You had some shorthand for the beginning. So we this one, yeah. when we watched this film, okay. we didn't know we were doing this. We just happened to watch Blade 2. Yeah, and what a coincidence. We, we Everyone took knows. Blade so the, so we, there was a little bit of shorthand that we used. Real, real quick, real quick. Hold yeah. on. Oh, uh oh, it's a cat. Okay. Whoop. Hey, kitty. So uh, oh. Space Cat, we watched Blade 2 today. What did you have to say about it? Anything? Anything? Oh. Okay, well, thanks for coming here screaming for attention and then doing nothing. That was actually, that was Ebert's exact review of the movie. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh, my God. At the end of this, I have to read Harry Knowles' review of this movie. Okay, okay, oh I'm in. God, okay. Have you ever heard it before? No. Oh, I'm it's the creepiest I'm in. I'm thing in. in the world. Okay. Anyway, anyway, continue. So, we did a lot of shorthand, so I'm going to go through it here. But, so, Claw Needles is there. See? Claw Needles, Claw needles, needles. is there. Uh, Wesley's gun skills. Shit. <laughs> yeah. That's the other thing. So, when he's sh right, he's shooting, whenever you see him shoot, have you, did you notice, Tony, anytime it's a scene where he's shooting, you never see who he's shooting at. It's just scenes of him. <laughs> and you're like, what are you doing? Yeah. You, you're supposed to be this cool guy and you're just oh, just doing one of these and around the corner. Yeah. With his, weird, with his weird rectangle guns. <laughs> it was to force, back then, gung fu was a big thing. Yeah. Right? And, and because of the Matrix and other reason mm -hmm. and equilibrium and stuff like that, there's a lot of gung fu and everything. So you just had to add it and everything. And it's like, no, movies don't really need that. Yeah. You know? no, they yeah. really don't. I mean, I love gung fu. Gun kata, I think that's what they called yes, it in the yes. equilibrium. <laughs> I'm more of a Jim Kata man, but that's just <laughs> rest in peace, that main actor. Um, so yeah, he ends up torturing a guy. By the way, we mentioned in the previous film that he will go from stoic and then occasionally have this like weird personality change. Yeah, and it, with his car, he like has the motorcycle. He almost hits his car and then he stops. He's like. I'm like, yes. I'm like, you are so totally inconsistent, Blade. But like, luckily it only comes out once in a while, uh, which I think is funny. But yeah, he uh, tortures the one guy. I love that the helmet just snaps in half when he's like yes. putting his face in the rubber. So then they go, he goes to the safe house where Whist Whistler is. And the vampires are snorting blood? Blood cocaine! Blood cocaine. That was shorthand. So blood cocaine is amazing, okay? okay but, but, is, but is the idea, is it regular blood or are they mixing it with drugs? Hear me out. Okay. okay. They get blood from people that just did cocaine, and then they they dry it and they snort it. Yeah, like if they want to get drunk. Have you seen uh, what we do in the shadows? Yeah, I was just about to say, Jessica, cut to the drug blood clip. Like that. We drank the blood of some people, but the people were on drugs, and now I'm a wizard. The blade versus complete. That's why they're always at those raves. Yeah. So they could harvest <laughs> drug blood. They're harvesting drug blood. I'm with you, but I think that they're taking that cocaine addict's blood and they're putting it in more cocaine. <laughs> oh, so you think it's mixed with cocaine? Double strength. Well, every time, I, now I don't know the Blade rules, but in most vampire movies, whenever a, a vampire eats regular food, it makes him sick or he throws yeah. it up. Yeah. So I don't know if it works the same way with drugs. I mean, it's not food. Yeah. And, and by the way, hey, listen, 
vampire movie makers, can we stop the trope of drinking blood in a wine glass? It's, 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 I'm so sick of that trope. It's going to get cold. I know, and then it coagulates. It coagulates, yeah. You got to drink it right like, away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Less blood in glasses, more blood raves. Thank more you. More blood raves, thank you. Speaking of vampires, I finally watched Midnight Mass. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it was actually pretty decent. I haven't seen it. It was actually a nice little I'll twist on the vampire lore. So, yeah, he saves Whistler, who's in a yes. big blood thing. Uh, by the way, I love the guy who knocks on the door. And he's like, oh, who's there? And he just gets shot yeah. and, like, dissolves. Oh, I was going to say, the previous fight, the the vampire dissolving is... Oh, And they linger yes. on it way. Yes. Oh, that was so bad, the CG. Oh, yeah, ugh. yeah. Which even the first movie had some issues with, with the dissolving. I mean... In terms of CGI movies from that era, I try to give a little bit more of a pass because yeah, fair. But then I look back and go, "But Jurassic Park was so good." Like Jurassic Park well, has ruined CG for a lot well, of stuff. Well, think about it. There, the the big movies like that, they were developing the technology for those movies yeah. and working on it for years. And then you have these other guys that are like, "We can also use computers. We'll also make all this CGI." And they're like, "Cool, Spawn's gonna look great, right?" And then it comes down. And it's like, oh my god, what the? That looks nothing like Jurassic Park. Put sixty-five and, more Agent Smiths. Yeah, and this is why She Hulk looks the way it does. <laughs> in case you're curious, because the big money goes to the real Hulk. She Hulk gets a TV Disney budget. I, I love that on Twitter. You thought I was like angry at people shitting on She Hulk. Oh no, I didn't think you were angry. No, it was, a no, it was a, so what I said for She Hulk. Yeah. It's, it's Marvel related. I'm like. This is, I'm like, I know every single thing that happened in that show because people wouldn't stop bitching about it on Twitter. And the point, I, I shouldn't tweet first thing in the morning because usually when everything gets spoiled for me, like Mandalorian, it's by fans who can't shut up. She-Hulk is the first time where literally I know every detail because people were complaining. And I'm like, wow, I didn't even have to watch this show. Consider yourself lucky and blessed. I guess. <laughs> I got two episodes left. But, yeah. like, but, but like you said, Mandalorian, I knew everything. Turns out at the it. end, it was a wool Mandalorian. <laughs> Glass ceiling broken. I love I love when Star Wars fans get so upset that I don't like Mandalorian. I'm like, it sucks. It's okay. It's all right. No, it's, it's fun. It's I good. thought it was a bounty hunting show. It's a babysitting show. Yeah. And my favorite was when everyone... You don't like Raising Arizona? Uh, no. Well, no. no, I like Raising Arizona, but I know what that is going in. I just... A I, masterpiece? You know what I hate? I hate it when everyone pretended Gina Carano was a good actress before never, she was a bad guy, and then she was a bad guy, and everyone ate her. I'm like, she sucked before she that. She was never a good actress. Have you seen Haywire? It's one of the worst I've fucking things. I've never thought Gina Carano is a good Dude, actress. That was Haywire? like when people were like upset. I'm like, no, I can understand if you're upset that she got fired and stuff, but like, let's not pretend that she was the glue holding it together. She was awful. Dude, Gina Carano mm. is like Ronda Rousey. They're, they're, they, 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 get these, they get propped up, but they're not... They're good terrible. at it. They're, They're terrible, terrible at it. And I it's hear not you. a woman thing. I hear both of you. You guys have a very good point. Oh, what are you going to say? But. Oh, God. She's so thick and hot. I don't care. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgive everything else. Gina Carano? Gina Carano can yeah, get it, bro. Yeah. I will. I will mm. die. You invite me into your home. <laughs> I didn't invite you. invite you me yeah, into, into my home. Nobody. <laughs> okay, fair enough. We broke into your home, but hear okay. me out, Tony. Nobody talks bad about Gina Carano. Gina Carano. Watch. Okay, less I'm act, sorry. I'm less sorry. acting. I'm gonna watch more sitting. I'm gonna watch every Gina Carano movie now. The Western Don't do that. movie. Don't do that. We and the that. and the red and the red alert cutscenes because she was in those. Yes, yes. And, Man and Conquer and the the Hunter Biden movie. I'm gonna watch that. Oh, we're actually, you should join us. We're riffing that next month. That's gonna oh, be okay. fun. Is it out? Did it come out? I have it. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, by the time this comes out, the movie's been out for a while. Yes. Okay. Anyway. Anyway. It's out. Yeah. Anyway, you, you know what? You're right. I I, I got to review it in time. Of course. Because if I wait to talk about the Hunter Biden thing, it's not going to be news anymore. <laughs> so anyway, let's get back into this. Blade gets Whistler out of there. Yes. But he's kind of vampirish. I guess he never fully turned. Okay, that's the other thing. Because they kept him either. in stasis. The whole plot of the first movie. Well, one of the subplots mm. was the girl that was kind of turned into a vampire and they're trying to stop her from turning into one. Remember the first yeah, one? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so the whole thing was like, how do we do this? You already know how to do it. This should be an easy yeah. fix. Fix it. You're done. You know how to do it already. Well, remember, I think it did end up working for her, right? She yeah, found it some kind of Or she was working on a cure. I thought that she was cured for sure, and then didn't yeah, they use right. her blood? Yeah. As, or some was something like that. I don't yeah, remember. Yeah, I think, I, from what I remember, she actually did formed some kind of cure or was close to getting mm -hmm. a cure. But when she was working on the cure, she accidentally made something that killed them, remember? That, that killed their god. Yeah, their god, You'd yes. think they'd be more upset about uh, that, but... Uh, their real god doesn't show up till the third one. 
Oh, right, right. Oh, my okay. God. Hunter Hearst Hemsley. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no. Oh, uh, guy. Parker Posey, stupid. No, uh, it's the fucking... Anyway, anyway, Ryan anyway. Ryan Reynolds. Ryan Reynolds. Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> Sorry, so, Tony. So I guess he does have that kind of cure that can cure you in time. So he gives uh, Whistler a um, injection, uh, and he's like, hey, I'm opening those fucking shades whether you're turned or not. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck, buddy. Like, hey, Blade, he might actually die. Do you want to, like, say, like something like something nicer and said he's like hey man you might get fucking roasted good luck i'm like well, what was the point of even going after him some motherfuckers always trying to hopscotch up here. <laughs> what hey but Wait, it's okay he couldn't say anything because he only answers questions in the movie <laughs> it's okay though whistler is cured but uh. now they introduce this whole like where does his allegiance lie? Oh my god! Okay, can we? Yeah. Okay, can we talk about that. Where does his allegiance lie? They do this like blind, like this double blind reveal. Like you go, oh, where was he? Where were you? And they're like yeah. building down. You see, he 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 gets introduced <sighs> to Scuds, who is Blade's new tech guy, and there's yes. immediate hostility there. Good name though. Yeah, <laughs> the, all the names are so fucking stupid in this. They pulled them out of a hat, bro. Yeah, it's so funny. They just pulled the names out of a I, hat. In my notes, I don't refer to him as Light Hammer. I call him Barbarian. <laughs> um, Light Hammer. Scuds isn't a fan of him, and they're trying to do this whole thing. It never really worked for me. But yeah, they get attacked by ninja vampires. Okay, here we go. All right. So yeah. This is my fucking. This, so nice. Okay, go no, ahead. They get attacked by ninja vampires for five minutes, and then it's just like, no, no, wait, we're on your side. You were just trying to fucking kill us. I was screaming when we I were watching so this because I because I forgot about that part. It's like instead of like I don't know calling him on the phone yeah. or showing up and be like, hey, look, we have no weapons. We're here to talk. We're on your side. Instead, and like I brought up earlier, which is a theme for this movie that you guys are gonna see, mm. it's finding reasons to have fights even when there doesn't need to be fights because yeah. they need action they need action i think they're just you know you're marketing to like your typical adolescent teenage kid where it's like i need yeah. action i need action i'm thinking maybe they were like all right well blade's not gonna listen to a fucking thing we say we're gonna show up and he's just gonna murder us so like Maybe we can like stab him. And yeah. I think the idea was not to kill him, incapacitate but him? to incapacitate him long enough. They're like, okay, now that we've impaled you, you can survive it. Uh, let's talk. <laughs> um, great, great. But, but you're, that's a great point. I didn't yeah. think about that yeah. because if a vampire just shows, like, Blade, Blade, you're right. Blade was just about to let Whistler die. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure if a random dude shows up, he's going to be like, Blade hates vampires. At no point in this movie does he give an update on how that vampire cure is going. Oh, okay. Because he doesn't fucking care. No, he <laughs> just wants to kill shit. them. Send a hot chick. <laughs> like in the first one, if you send a hot, well, she did, it's hot vampire chick. Send yeah. a hot familiar and be like, look, I'm not a vampire. You could check me with your vampire machine that they, I guess, t I don't know. <laughs> I guess. And, and, and then be like, hey, look, these guys actually want to work with you. And then he'll going to mumble a couple things. Mm. But... That fight scene, I will say, was a cool fight scene, except the CGI yeah, doubles. Yeah, the CGI know what? doubles. I was reading the IMDb, and I kind of want to go and listen to the commentary track, because apparently even Del Toro will make fun of the bad CGI in the commentary oh. track. Um, so, yeah, they, they eventually are like, hey, look, we want a truce. Uh, I will say the goggles are cool. How they like retract yeah. and everything, like, like owls' eyes. Yeah, yeah and yeah. like the goggles and all the weird goggle stuff, it does seem again like things that would we would end up seeing in Hellboy later on. Yes, yes, yes. Um, one this thing... this this feels like how J.J. Abrams used Star Trek because he wanted to make a Star Wars movie. Yes, yeah. this feels like Del Toro. Like, look, I'll do Blade Two, but I really want to do Hellboy. So look my... at look at what I'm capable of. Yeah, look I what I'm capable that. of here. Fair yeah, yeah. Um, one thing, one note, one note that I took uh, during that whole ninja sword fight part. Was, I don't know if you noticed, but every time they do the fight, they kept they kept finding a reason to fight in front of these like giant the god lights. They yes. call them the, the god, god lights, but they kept they move away and then somehow end up back in front of them and then move away and yeah. somehow end up back in front. It was and and good. those lights don't hurt them because they're covered in the suit. I guess uh, there's some. Uh, that, we, that's a, so that's, I'm gonna bring it up when we get to the, yes. the sewer level. Yes, the okay, sewer, okay. Level. sewer level. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring up. Let's put up. Let's put a pin on that for now, because I am going to bring that up. Uh, but yeah, uh, Nissa, Nisa, she is the vampire princess. No, she is one no, of the... That's the, the way, the that's the way Jar Jar Binks calls, says, calls people Mr. <laughs> Right? Misa vampire, please. Misa vampire, please. Misa, not Misa. Oh, I apologize. Misa, not a racist caricature, man. <laughs> swears. Uh, Nisa, or uh. Nisa, whatever. She is one of the three Martas from Arrested Development. 
I believe she is the first Marta. Oh, oh I didn't know God. that. And I've watched her a million times. Yeah. Now I So okay. she played Marta in two episodes, and then it turned into the girl from The Mummy. Yes. Uh, I think, yeah, I forget. I'm blanking on the her name right like now. The one who's like super tan and all the, yes. all the time. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah, and okay. then there was, they do a flashback to just some actress who is supposed to be Marta, but she is the first Marta in Arrested Development, and that's, that's what I know her from. <laughs> I mean. She's in other things. Whatever works. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, Blade uh, agrees to go to the vampire headquarters, uh, which did he not know where that was located? It, it did also, he never know where that was located? It also seemed like they weren't hiding it that well. No. It feels like it was super easy to find the van. It's probably in Google. Yeah. It or, excuse me, back to MapQuest. It's, <laughs> it's like a pop-up restaurant, so the location changes all the time. It all just depends on what's local and what's fresh. I do like that she's just like... It's so weird that he just agreed to come here. And it's like, oh, yeah, he's got a suicide bomb vest on right now. And I'm, at no point do any of the vampires be like, okay, look, you can, we'll give you like a gun. You can't bring the suicide bomb vest in here. The vampires are observably stupid. Yes. Because the things they do, and I understand writing wise why they try to do some of the things, but like you just said, that's a great example. They immediately trust Blade, the guy whose entire goal mm -hmm. is to genocide their entire people. No, that's what Blade is. Look, for vampires, that is his goal. Blade is a dick. Look, depending on whose side you're on, yeah. Blade is a horrible monster and to again, some people. The the biggest point in yeah. my, in that favor is he never updates us on the vampire cure. No, he doesn't want he it. He doesn't want it. Blade doesn't. Uh, Blade doesn't want to help. Blade wants to hunt. Yeah, and no, because he he purposely is like. Just give me a different serum. I don't want the cure. I need more vampires to kill. And, and no, it, no one ever says like, well, if you have a cure, you could just cure them now. He's like, no, that's not on my agenda. I need to murder them. <laughs> How's that cure coming along? How's that cure coming along, Blade? Oh, no, no, no. I'd do something else. Now I'm doing the opposite. Yeah. <laughs> This one makes more vampires. That cure never comes out. Uh, in Blade 3, there should have been people who be like, hey, Blade, look, <laughs> we're just curing them now. He's like, nah, I still got to murder nah, them. Like, no, 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 we can save them. <laughs> we have, we literally have an injection. It goes right away. <laughs> no. What if they're halfway to being cured? Can I still kill them because there's a little vampire? There? <laughs> <laughs> what so, acceptable amount of vampire can I put my sword like through the head? Lost. Yes. Can I put my, my sword through the head? Can I kill it? Can I kill <laughs> So can I kill a vampire in the third trimester? It's not Blade. <laughs> oh, look, no. first off, <laughs> first off, Blade. No. Ro versus telling. Blade. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, the podcast. Hey, that was a fun one, guys. Hi, guys. Thank you. <laughs> that was that was Pessy's last. We're leaving. <laughs> That's the last thing Pessy ever said. So after Roe v. Blade, <laughs> you can't. Sorry. Let's go. <laughs> okay. So Thomas Kretschmann plays Thomas Kinos, yeah. who looks like Nosferatu. Yes. Yes. Thomas Kretschmann, who's a Nazi in Dial of Destiny. Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> we have our theories. I, I like Thomas Kretschmann. He's fine. Is so he you're good? saying you love the CGI in the trailer of Dial of Destiny. I agree no, with No, you. no, no. That I, I don't like. So Thomas Kretschmann, are you talking about that old wet vampire? Yes. Oh, the glistening. the glistening. Okay, we got to talk about yes. the glistening. Well, I think like... The idea was that his skin is like marble, I guess. Yeah. Didn't come off that way. And uh, look at he was always getting out of a hot tub. Yes. And yes. We, we, we started calling it like, oh, it's our time. It's the vampire's time of the glistening. <laughs> Where we all, all the real born vampires, they just get wet. Wait, by, by the way, why does he look like Different? That? Different? Yeah. Okay, I don't, that's the other thing so, too that they never really. Because they, I, a lot of times if a vampire Sometimes they just look creepy and old. But if you have these like nicer looking vampires and then there's a creepy one, a lot of times like the thing will be like, oh, they're not drinking as much blood. Like uh, like Dracula. So, he starts yeah. off as an old man, the more blood he drinks. Uh, Leslie really Nielsen, good. yes, dead and loving it. I remember. <laughs> yes, obviously, Excellent that's film. the one canon. I was referring to. Uh, that's the canon Dracula we all, <laughs> Bram Stoker's Leslie <laughs> not, Nielsen. Not any of these Draculas here. I actually don't have Dracula dead and loving it. I need to get It's that. in the DVD player because you were watching all the time. Me yeah. too. That's true, that's yeah. true. Third that's copy, true. he keeps melting the discs. <laughs> So, so Leslie Nielsen is your favorite Dracula. Yeah, obviously. It's okay, well, that that's kind of mean to me because, you know, I had Dra District Attorney Dracula, a mummy cop, and I thought you'd say, Tony, I'm such a good friend. I watched your old web series, and that's my favorite Dracula, but now I know that we're not friends. Why would you think we're friends? I've broken your home. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> it's true. That's true. So Nosferatu's there. 
Uh, and I don't feel like saying Damaskino, so we're just going to call him Nosferatu. Let's, let's, we'll call him Nosferatu. <laughs> Nosferatu. Nosferatu. Like Nosferatu. But, uh, but, uh, I like but it. But my whole thing, my uh, they do it in what we do in the shadows also, but I think the whole thing with like vampire lore is those those the really old ones look that way. It's mm. because they had they aren't necessarily adapted to modern society because yeah. they're still very feral almost, so they just kept looking like that, and they probably feed a lot more, and they're yeah. more, more on like the beast side yeah. of things there, but it's that, weird. that's like an Anne Rice thing it didn't make it into the movies but there are these like wraith type vampires in her books that like have no social interaction and don't feed as much so they're like basically zombie like they're right, like right. creepy zombie things that's what it never made it in the movies I don't know if it's in the show but like uh interview with the vampire it's like yeah me and the girl we went looking for vampires the one we found scared the shit out of us and we murdered it <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> so yeah they're basically like blade there is a new vampire on the block and they're called Reapers uh, and they're like scary. They feed on human and vampire blood. And I we... thought Reapers were the pirates from Firefly. Yeah, I think they might. Or were they Reavers? No. They might have been Reavers. Reavers What's the pepper? Reaper. Okay. So the pe <laughs> these pepper vampires, go ahead. The pepper so vampires. Trinidad scorpion vampires. Yes, yes. <laughs> they're like, hey, look, they're going to kill all of us. It's some mutated strain. We don't know where this virus came from. Um, so yeah, they're like, look, we, we want to team up. You're going to team up with this team to kill these new vampires. By the way, the team that you're teaming up with has been trained to kill you for the last two years. Oh, so I, I do like that twist where it's like, these people literally, their only purpose is to kill Blade, and now they have to work with him. I just want to warn you, Blade, one of your new crew members, he tweets about having piss on his hands a lot. Oh my god, the just Ron let Perlman. You know. Ron Perlman. Are those real tweets or like jokes? No, those are real. No, those are real. Those are real tweets. I think he is, uh, what's his name uh, in this? It's a very German name. Oh, um. Hans Waffle. <laughs> Because I think, what, from what I read in the original script, he might have been, like, a former Nazi, but that did not make it in it. Here, let's look up. He like, is racist. Oh, former Nazi. <laughs> His name was Vampire. <laughs> former, not current. Yay, 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 yay. sorry. And by, by, that by, name. by the way, current Nazi, I guess. That's <laughs> right. Current Nazi. Well, we don't know when this comes out. Current Nazi. <laughs> and, and Jessica, listen, I want to apologize. Please beep I, out. Yay. Bleep that out too. Yay. I just, <laughs> I just like, name. I like that he changed. I just like that he changed his name to what people say when he's in a room now. Yay. Hey, <laughs> Yay. That guy. Yay. Is. Oh man. Um, and he's also a vampire because he wears the black mask all the time too. <laughs> so the sun gets in front of him. <laughs> Yeah, what's the last time oh. we've seen him in the daytime? I and he fears I, daywalkers. Uh, All those videos oh. he's been doing are at night. He, he's a vampire. Yeah, he's anyway, a vampire. anyway, anyway, Reinhardt. anyway. Reinhardt. Buddy. Reinhardt. Reinhardt. Okay. So. Uh, the, uh, all their names are stupid. Like I said, Lighthammer, Reinhardt, Every name Priest. Is dumb. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. The other one. I, I, I want to say Blogus. Well, yeah, Blogus is there. <laughs> there's there's Tumblr Girl. Dude, there's a guy named Chupa. Chupa, yes. Which sucker. Is, which is Spanish for sucker. Sucker, yes. The Chupacabra. Mm -hmm. The Chupacabrix. That's not how we use it in high school, but okay. <laughs> we're, we got, we're up with the times. It's Chupacabrix now. Chupacabrix. It's Chupacabrix. <laughs> <laughs> Also, just wanted to say, missed opportunity in the film. Uh, when Donnie Yen shows up for the first time, they should have been like, who's that man? And they go, that's Snowman. That's a vampire. His name's Snowman. <laughs> that's right, he's like, Snowman. <laughs> that's Snowman. That's a vampire. That's all his name. Uh, oh. yeah, like, they gave Goodbye, him a... everybody. They, no, no, no. They gave him a way better name yeah. in Star Wars Rogue One, and that name is... Did they say his name in Star Wars World? Sure he has to have it. Is, is, is it? Is it? I feel like it's racist. What is it? What is it? I can't say it. I can say it. Chirrut Imwe. Okay, come on, man. Oh, uh, yes, Chirrut Imwe. Yes, Native American Donnie Yen played Chirrut Imwe. Inuit's actor, Donnie Yen. Anyway, okay, you know what? I might you might be right. Star Wars just fucking sucks now, bro. <laughs> I, you're, I can't, I'm not defending anymore, Tony. I'll give you this one. And that's what people say is good. I'm like, I know, I know. You win. You know what? <laughs> Looking back on it, Rogue One was only good because everything else around was it was at least marginally yeah. better than the other movies. But it's not. Sorry, Blade. Yeah. I apologize. Sorry, Blade. 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 So uh, Ron Perlman, he asked Blade if he blushes. Can you blush? Uh -oh. Here we go, Poppy. Which is racist. That was that's a good point. That was a super racist line. By the way, the reason it's in here, yeah. Wesley Snipes made them put the scene in because someone did that to him. 
And he wanted it in the movie. Like, someone legit asked that of Wesley Snipes once. Okay, first of all, first of all, brave to walk up to Wesley Snipes and ask him that fucking question. Well, we don't know if he life. was like, Wesley Snipes yet. Right. He might have just been like a kid or something. Fair like, enough. Like, I wouldn't go up to Wesley Snipes and say that. I, I wouldn't go up to Wesley Snipes. <laughs> no, I would totally go up to Wesley Snipes and be like, so what did you do wrong? And what can I learn from your mistakes? Because I don't want to pay the government. Uh, I'm, I'm just sorry, gonna, Jessica, cut that out. <laughs> I'm just going to I'm just gonna ask him Demolition Man questions. That's my That opinion. too. That's the next on the agenda is everything about Demolition yes. Man. Over a meal at Taco Bell. Simon <laughs> Phoenix, actually from Tucson. Did you know that? <laughs> Not really. Just made it up. So he puts a bomb in Ron Perlman's head. Oh, the, the oh, Suicide yeah. Squad, the, the Suicide Squad brainstem. Yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah. <laughs> and then, then you find out, by the way, way too shortly afterwards, like, there never was a bomb. But you still let him no, stick no, shit no. in your head? Royce, Ron Perlman's fucking haircut. When they show oh, the back yeah. of his head. So yeah, we looked at that. I actually shoes. sent you that on Twitter too. Yeah. We took a, I took a screenshot. Oh. His hair goes from here. And then it's like my beard kept going up, but then went and connected in the back like a monk. You should you should rock. Man. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do be, it. You should be Reinhardt next you know album. Where? Nobody will know who I am. They'll think I'm a homeless guy. <laughs> Dude, it's like a go it's like goggles, but a beard. <laughs> yes. I should. So I never noticed it before until I read the fact. He never takes his sunglasses off this entire film. Ron Perlman? Yeah. <laughs> they are, he's always wearing his sunglasses. What is he, Mersh? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Dude, I think he's always wearing sunglasses in everything he does. <laughs> oh, I think, you know what, that, that that actually makes, it's not just in that movie, he does wear sunglasses a lot, like in you know, Sons of Anarchy and everything too, but like, it's just because he's, Ron Perlman kind of has butthole eyes. No, I mean, like they're in, they're, they're pushed in. A bit. Yeah, no, so, I get yeah. what you mean. I yeah. get what you mean. Yeah. It's just really mean. Yeah. But anyway. Yeah, because we wouldn't want to offend yeah. nice guy Ron Perlman. <laughs> Give him a break. He's <laughs> peeing on his hand. Good boy. So they, uh, they go to the vampire club. And again, Blade's like, is this a club? I don't see any symbols. The witnesses should say is like, oh, no, it is. Trust me. It's new. We didn't put the symbols up yet. Instead, she's like, well, Blade, because you keep killing all of us, uh, we now have these hidden sequels, and these are the goggles that you need to see them. It's like, what the fuck are you doing? Why? Like, you're only teaming up Blade for this specific purpose. You're going back to being enemies afterwards. He wants to genocide your people. Yeah. Stop giving him ammo. I've never... That's a really <laughs> good point. Yeah. It's like, why... Like. I understand teaming up to help, but you don't have to give away like your base's location in the launch codes, you yeah. know what I mean? Oh, by the way, we <laughs> forgot to mention the familiar uh, with Nosferatu. It's like, we need to thank you. And he's like, for what? He's like, killing Deacon Frost, you did us a favor. It's like, what? Did, did, how did you guys, I mean, are you guys a different vampire council and you heard about that? It's I just like the fact that fucking Blade, up until yesterday was trying to kill all these vampires yeah. and now they're next to him with tons of ammo and weapons going, you know, I want to share you my secrets and my weaknesses. And yeah. What you thinking? <laughs> so stupid. Yeah, that what you think. What the Deacon you Frost thing. Technically, Nosferatu should be like, hey, look, I know Deacon was an asshole, but I think you killed our god. Yeah. I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> also, Deacon Frost, what a waste of a name. You should have got some sort of like frost hero or frost villain, you know, like hey, some ice space thing. If you killed a vamp, if you killed the vampire's god though all the other ones should die isn't that the don't they well in the first one they didn't even think he was real it was a surprise to him when it turned out to be real only the orthodox vampires die if you kill their god uh... the unorthodox vampires are fine <laughs> and they head toward the uh vampire club um i like the slow motion walking in a line shot oh my god go wait we looked at the vampire club's name what was it it was really corny was it rad dude uh, i i think there's a oh, reference to it rad was dude. bad it was really bad it was like it, it was like really like you might have all these goggles and stuff, but as a human, if I saw the name, I'm like, oh, that's a vampire club. Yeah. That's the club was called House, House of Pain. There it is. That is. It was a BDSM club, I believe, if I remember yeah. correctly. But they're making out with razor blades in their mouth. They, they were doing something as one of their spines. Yeah. Like, it's this really weird, like, okay, but even if you're a human and you're trying to hide this, I go, that guy should be dead. His back's open. No, I think they're vampires. No, I know. But and they like doing the body modification because they could just heal. I guess that's true. Yeah. It's just yeah. I do like that he bumps into the guy from earlier. Because mm -hmm. the guy's like dancing. He's like, oh, no. And he runs away. Okay. We're going to talk about the brave. 
that one nerdy guy in the audience. I noticed the him. Oh, you know, thank you, thank you, thank you. The you. spotlight is on him. Okay, if you could find that clip and put it here, it'd be hilarious. There, you could, you can't miss the guy in the rave scene. He looks like he looks like Revenge of the Nerds. Like he was ginger. It's like I'm fucking there. Yeah, he's a ginger. <laughs> he big glasses, white shirt, blue jeans. Yeah. Everyone else is dressed in like rave material. He's dressed like he's in a Diet Coke commercial, <laughs> and he's just doing like, yeah, yeah, this is the best blood rave I've ever had. By the way, I like that the vampires are all still racist. They're like, they're not even yeah. pure bloods. Ugh. All the vampires just keep asking Blade if he could blush. It's like, okay, it's getting gratuitous. Now. <laughs> all right, all right, this is gratuitous. Stop. So Ron Perlman in Blade's feud is very funny. I like that he's in the club and he's got like the gun. It's like, I can kill him right now. But then it's just like, I think Blade's got the gun pointing at his dick his or dick. something. And I'm yeah. like, okay, but then both of you kill each other. Like yeah. one doesn't really have the tactical advantage here. By the way. So they have like the laser sight, and I think the laser sight is uninterrupted. It's like, is just conveniently no one dancing in front of no, them? It's no. so bad. Well, they're filming a movie there, Tony. Oh, oh that's right, that's right. <laughs> uh, I do love the reveal of the Reapers though, when it like yeah. goes underground and they're just like all looking up. Well, okay, I was laughing about that because you're right, they're all looking up, but then what you don't notice for, for, for like 20 minutes, people are just like dropping their earrings and chains on their heads and, <laughs> and drinks and drinks are falling on their faces. Yeah. Yeah. The fucking, that whole lair down there under that club probably yeah. smells like a dorm room carpet. Yeah, because yeah. think about it. Because first off, why would you have the cl floor, a club where the floor is graded, where all the just <laughs> club crap? There's like Molly Dude, on the and floor. And there's like spikes and stuff. Yeah. I assume they club like goers are wearing to... heels. Why is it? Why is it a graded floor? Little baggies. Oh, that's right. <laughs> yeah, little ba little baggies of blood cocaine are just falling through the grates down there. The yeah, the more you, rain. this movie, the more you think of it, it's like that doesn't make sense. That makes no sense. Wait a second, you tell me this Blade movie has yeah. some plot holes in, and I don't believe you. So they're starting to look for Reapers, and I like that the big barbarian guy is being stalked, stalked by fucking Gollum. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> The tiniest reaper in the world. They all make a move and they attack uh, the blood pack and the, the blade boys, I guess. It's the blood oh, pack. We're calling the, them the blade, blade boys. boys. The blade boys and the blood pack. Um, and actually, you know what? Nomak, I really like that actor. And I wish he was in more stuff that I've seen. He ends up being the bad guy in Hellboy 2. Yeah, Ooh. he's the prince. And oh, he okay. um he is in a, he's in a made for TV uh, Frankenstein adaptation. And he is like, the most faithful depiction of the creature to the book. Like he has the long black hair and whatnot. Cause all the movies, they like fuck it up. Uh, but yeah, he's actually a really good actor. And I looked up his like IMDb and I'm like, I haven't heard of any of these movies. I never see them. Yeah, like I want to see him in more things. Does he do more like art house stuff outside of this? Maybe? No, it looks like he does do like a lot of action stuff. Maybe it's just not, maybe he's not in a lot of American productions. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. But he's good. He's really, really good in this. Mm -hmm. um, the Reapers are super hard to kill. I like that they, they don't know how to kill them yet. Yeah, because they assuming. keep shooting them, and they're, and they're healing faster, too. Uh, do, you notice yeah. the, do you notice the Reapers healed really fast compared yeah. to other vampires? Yes. <laughs> Again, because they're racist against their own kind. The one guy who only likes pure bloods, he's like, well, I got to shoot that Reaper. Oh, all these vampires are in front of me. Oh, too bad. And he just fires into an open crowd, killing regular vampires to get to the Reaper. <laughs> Guys, I'm going to I'm gonna say something. And look, this is a hot take. Yeah. Vampires are kind of jerks. Yeah, I'm starting to think these vampires aren't very yeah, nice they're people. They're not. They'll just kill their own. Yeah. The one Reaper, he gets pinned to a wall by Donnie N. And then he just slices his own dick off to run away. That's actually CG. Snowman, sir. Snowman. Snowman. I'm sorry. Spec on that name. <laughs> uh, I actually do. That's actually one CGI scene that's actually pretty cool. Because mm. the the weird movement kind of works for that. And he well, runs into a shadow. When you're not doing specifically human stuff, you get away with it. Yeah. It's when you try to do human stuff, you get that uncanny valley stuff. Yep. It's weird. Yeah. And also around this time is the first time we actually see their mouths. And they're horrifying. <laughs> I love that, but uh, it's it very Resident Evil ish. With yes, the, with the the bottom. Actually, one. before Resident Evil no, did I, that, well, I know, I know. But I'm just saying, like, in well, no, because the game, the Hellhounds mouths did that in the games. No, no, not. Oh no, the remake. You're right. No, you're no, right. No, I no, apologize because no. well, the movie. The thing, here's the, the thing. The, um, you're right. The whole like splitting thing. I didn't think that was until Resident Evil Five, which mm. is like 2009, maybe. But it it is well, it is it is a it's a it's yeah. a good it's a good it's a simple thing you could do that makes it extremely terrifying. Yeah. Now, are the mouths more functional? Not really. Like, mm. oh, you know, what are you gonna? You have to really get close to them and go yeah. with your with your big mouth hole. Yeah, and they got like the weird tongue uh, tentacle. The mouth thing was really funny to see because like years later, Gamer del Toro did the strain. So so I looked into that. Same vampire. So a lot of people think he took the ideas here to do the strain, but it's actually the reverse. He 
wanted to do I've never actually seen this train, but he wanted to do that first. And he couldn't get it off the ground, so he oh. used some of his ideas in Blade oh, Two again, like you were oh saying earlier, God. to kind of show off what he could do. Yeah, and to by the like, time hey, he look, got I to the strain, he was able to reuse some of those ideas and do the original. Because those ones vampires too. are exactly the same; their mouths open like yeah. this. They've got the tentacle thingies. It yeah. is those exact same kind of vampires. That, that was just it's an really original crazy. concept he came up with. He's like, "Well, I got to do it in Blade Two first. Um, I like but, that Neil Blumkin did District Nine to make an Alien movie. Then they never gave him the Alien movie." Uh, good, because I would have ignored Alien I love Three. That you I called love him Alien Neil Blumpkin. That's, I, I always call him that. That's the best <laughs> oh, name ever. You oh, said I do, Blumpkin. Yeah. You, oh, I, I do. I always do that. The greatest thing I've ever heard. If you don't know what right a Blumpkin is, look it up. Yeah. Oh no, no, no. man. Well, no. First Turn look, moderate search on, then no, look no, no. it up. First, <laughs> first look up Grandma. Grandma, what's a Blumpkin? <laughs> then look up what a Blumpkin is. There you go. I haven't heard Blumpkin since I listened to Howard what's Stern. Like it's been a long time. Oh, yeah. We'll call him Blades Whack Pack. So it turns out, as far as they can tell, only sunlight can kill them. Yes. And they have they have uh, like UV, Those UV lights. Things, they yeah. have a filter to keep them safe, but they have the sunlight. Uh, the barbarian he gets bit, and he does the classic cliche of hiding that he was. Oh infected. my god! Oh my god! The t okay, He's Tony, gushing I'm blood. It's just like, hold on. Okay, Tony. we, we got to talk about this for a second. I'm bleeding. I'm bleeding. We literally did that. It's not <laughs> that he did the cover up with with that because mm. that was corny enough. Yeah. But it's that he was only wearing a vest. It was yeah. a sleeve with muscles. And normally they wanted him to be shirtless, but I think they had to give him it. But the covering it up doesn't work with a little tiny vest because the moment yeah. you stand up, there's a big bite mark here. I don't know, you know? why he's covering up because he knows he will be turned. Yeah. It's been established that they can but turn he other covers vampires. It with the smallest goes, little piece of fabric. I know, I know, yeah. it's stupid. Blade fights Nomak. Yes. Uh, and it's a pretty cool fight in that like that like uh, abandoned, it looks like a church or something. Uh, so that's a pretty cool fight. Where well, uh, Kevin Bacon danced it out in Footloose, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He tries to use the blood exploding stuff. Yeah. That worked so well last time. Uh, and I like that you think it's going to work for a moment, and then he's just like, blah. He's like, I'm fine. And Blade is just like, oh, come on. So like, what the fuck? This was the fight scene where I started to just get really annoyed and really started to pick up on the fact that, like, when you watch an action movie, a real testament as to how good the actor is is how many fucking cuts. Yeah. One fight... Two minutes of fight scene on that, I counted like sixty cuts. Like every, it was like watching a WWE <laughs> match, <laughs> oh, like a modern one. Yeah, Dude, a modern like one. They, you know what's funny? They don't do that all the time. Like yeah. they'll do it, and then people will complain. And I notice they don't yeah. do it as much, and then they start doing it again. But there's a new Boston town too. Yeah, oh well, yeah, <laughs> um, yeah. I know a lot of people shit on the quick cuts. It it depends for me. Sometimes it works. But I'm sometimes just saying in, it in this in this one, it just made it seem so you, yeah. you, could, you, you could do quick cuts and, or you could do close ups. My problem is when you do both at the same time. Yeah, uh, I can you, see you that. have the first like the the, the for Batman begins to to no. where, where it's too close up where but, I don't see what's happening. Apparently the the idea there for that film was like they wanted it to purposely be disoriented. So that's how like the criminals are seeing it. But it didn't work. And to their credit, like the second and third movie, they don't really do that again. They like well, they pull the camera back and they do. And less they fix cuts. the neck thing too. And they fix the neck thing too. Which I know you're an expert at because all your knowledge is why you were in the film, the in the third one. So. I was. Did you know I was in the Dark Knight Rises? He really was. No, it's not <laughs> a joke. It's not a bit. Oh, uh, here's Bane. I got to see him uh, on on set, and of course, I oh god, oh, oh god, Bane! oh god, and of course, I have the uh, the the 4K. Uh, copy Just and so you I can see yourself clearly. No, I still can't see myself even in 4K. <laughs> but I'm there. So you know the scene in the football stadium. Yeah. Yeah, I'm there. He's one of. Oh, the you're guys. just somewhere in that football stadium. I'm behind the goalpost, and I have a scene with Tom Hardy because he's in front of the camera, and I'm on the opposite side of the field, out of focus. Thank yeah, you very speaking much. Speaking of goalposts, but I can see your shape. Sp speaking of goalposts, yeah. speaking of goalposts, every time I ask him if he's in the movie, he keeps moving it. The goalpost. <laughs> To what being in a movie? I is. am in the movie. Okay, I mean, technically, yeah, I am in the movie, and that's why. Yeah, it's... and I'm in an episode of Bird Notice because happened to walk by while they were filming. The back of and, my foot's and in Royce, Boondock Saints too. Royce, that's the best episode of Bird Notice. You know what? It was. So therefore, this is the best Batman movie. <laughs> There's a scene in Boondock Saints too where you see my heel as it's leaving a frame. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I really don't like Boondock Saints, so I didn't. I didn't watch the sequel. Not and now, I. and now I will. And I was gonna say, and best. now I really won't. <laughs> you, really, you really haven't seen the scene. It's not good, but it's, no, it's, it's definitely it. worth reviewing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's unnecessary. Maybe, maybe for reviewing, but yeah. yeah. So yeah, well, I do like during the Nomak fight, they have the slowest fall ever. Oh, <laughs> they yes. fall off the scaffolding, but then they're falling slow enough that they can keep punching. We brought that up. We were watching it. We're like, 
how long are they falling for? So then you're, it's just it's an example where we have seen through the Blade series that vampires can defy gravity longer, they can jump fast. Mm. So are they both defying gravity or are they falling at a normal rate? Are they working in tandem to fall slowly? <laughs> like, no, I, I'm, these are the dumb things that I think yeah. about. But when I'm watching the movie, because remember, I, I was a lot younger when I watched it. It was a mm. completely, it was just all oh, cool action scene. But now you're like, are they floating? Is this? Are they floating and hitting each other? It's a little weird. It's a little weird. Are, are they in the Wonka pop floating thing? What, what's happening? <laughs> they try uh, some fizzy lifting. Yeah, there. fizzy lifting. <laughs> fizzy, fizzy lifting. They're beating each other up. Going, I do. <laughs> I do like. Um, I really do like when the sunlight comes and he's got to get out of there. He does turn into Spider Man for a second. Yes. He's like jumping from the wall to wall. That was pretty cool. And then I'm thinking to myself, wait, you could do that all the time. Then how? Then. And you also, they should all be the same powerful. They should all be do that. So there's a lot of scenes before where they're hunting the the blade the blade boys. Mm. If you did that, you would have killed them. They wouldn't have yeah. been able to catch you. You're that fast, right? Yeah, yeah. So if I had if I had super supernatural if I had like superhuman abilities, I'd be more annoyed if I just kept discovering things I could suddenly do. <laughs> like, I'm like, I'd rather oh, yeah. I want to know my abilities. I can first. do this. I don't know. I could do that. Look, Shit. motherfucker! If I have to spend all my time in the dark and drink people's necks, at least tell mm. me what the benefits are. You got to give Tobey Maguire, Tobey Maguire, Spider-Man credit. They really went into him trying to figure out everything he could yeah. do. I give them. Sam yeah, Raimi gets a lot of credit yeah, for that yeah. because there's a lot of movies now where it's like, oh, you could just do all that. And yeah. it's at least they explain, oh, because the things are coming out of his hands, and yeah. with and look, I get that these Blade films are supposed to be mindless action films. Mm. So obviously, you you can't go into them expecting like something amazing. So, but well, you it, can't, maybe not you. <laughs> but it it does feel like it was a lot of like we need situations for them to be doing this thing. Who does it matter what it is? Nobody cares. Yeah, yeah. You know? uh, I do like that the one blood pack guy priest is turning into a reaper. Uh, and they're like trying to kill him and it's not working. They slice his head off and he doesn't die with the silver. Uh, they eventually have to use sunlight. I like that they burn his body, but then the half of his head is still alive. Dude, I'm I like, you say, guys gonna scoot that into the sunlight? I will say that that what that do you want to talk about? We you know we 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 crap on the bad mm. CGI, but mm. him blinking after his head was cut off that was pretty cool. That was cool. I was like, okay, that's pretty that cool. Pretty but good. it's like, oh wow, so not that is a good way of going. Like, oh wow, so it needs to be light. Yes. Now. I wanted to I want I wanted to bring up something and I, Royce you actually brought it up when we were watching Blade 2 but how do they afford so much silver? Oh, yeah, where are they finding it for thousands of years? No, like, okay, well, fair. No, 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 no. The vampires might be collecting for thousands of years, but not the vampire fighters. Oh yeah, that's a good. So, that's an expensive. No, think about it. Job. Like whenever Blade's out there shooting his silver machine guns, I'm like, that's like, that's like forty thousand dollars worth of money. <laughs> yes, yes. You know? I'm wondering if it's like. <laughs> Do they kill? Do, do vampires stockpile silver so it can't get out there? And like, do they sometimes? Do they sometimes kill those vampires don't talk about and take? Don't talk about stockpiling money. I already got in trouble once. Don't please don't. <laughs> Not money. The, the mineral <laughs> in the ground. Um, I wonder. Th that could be a thing. They probably kill some vampires who have silver like deposits. I'm like, all right, well now it's ours. <laughs> Find me vampires with ore. <laughs> okay, guys, we're gonna keep talking about blade, but first, I want to talk about. Bert Silver. <laughs> <laughs> um, but the, the 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 thing is with the, so it's funny because silver wasn't always something that killed vampire. That's something they added later. Silver yeah, was werewolf. always the werewolf thing, and mm. it was like, well, how do you make a cool vampire? We're gonna shoot garlic bullets at him. Yeah. So it's like we need to we need to add something. I think but tr a true what was blood the first thing. movie that? What was the first thing that used silver for vampires? Because even oh, I don't know. Here's, kid, the I don't, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Silver blade? might be part of some vampire lore. Ah, uh, that's a good point. Because there's so many different vampire lores. Like, True. Like, there are vampire, like, even in Dracula, like, technically he can't move over running water, which is why he has to get a boat. He can't just fly. Because he's reverse Jesus. He's reverse Jesus. He's the Jesus. opposite of Jesus. So it could be, yeah, they could have cherry picked that from some kind of lore. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, even like, yeah, Daylight didn't even really, I think, used to kill vampires. That was something they came up with later. And crosses do sometimes, but not other times. Sometimes, but not other times, yeah. They um, can, they, apparently, they could go in churches if they're abandoned, because they find a lot of abandoned churches, vampires. Yes, yes. Yeah. It, it, you can do whatever you want with vampires. You can make up your own rules. Uh, but Whistler captures a reaper. And I like that it's, like, gnawing on his arm yeah. to get out of there. Uh, and then they realize that they actually can't live for too long. Like the, the the virus like breaks down their body way right. too much, except for Nomak, who was like a carrier. So they do like an autopsy, and I actually really like the autopsy. The practical effect, unless we were shit on the CGI, right? Uh, which, by the way, the C speak oh speaking of Jurassic Park, 
The guy who did the CGI in this was Tippett Studios. Phil Tippett worked oh. on the original Jurassic Park. He was the guy who used to do like, like stop motion and Funny. all that. Mad God is one of my favorite movies. Yeah, ever. But during Jurassic Park, apparently they made fun of him. They're like, because with the CGI, they're like, dude, you're out of a job. Which is the why how that joke ended up in Jurassic Park. Yeah. Um. So to adapt, he ended up doing visual effects, and I I think they've gotten better since then. But this is still when he was early on. I, uh, I, I, I would rather take bad practical effects any yep. day yeah. than mid CGI. Yeah. Bad practical but the autopsy and the warmth. Yeah, but the autopsy with like them ripping them open and like even like when the organs that are was still cool. alive. The, the that organ was, thing was, was very cool. The organ thing was really cool. Yeah, and then they realized the heart is encased in bone, which that is cool. That was cool because it explained why it was harder to, to you know, yeah. stab them. During this, Whistler and Scud start to bond over making a UV grenade. Uh, That's which, right, the UV grenade. The UV grenade. The holy hand grenade. Sun the bomb. holy hand grenade of yeah. Antioch. Yeah. Uh, and then at this point, Nyssa is calling out Blade for his racism. She's like, hey, I was born a vampire. You're making me feel really bad. You guys keep myself. asking me if I blush. Bro, like <laughs> one or two times is fine, but like 80, 90 times. <laughs> I'm sorry, is, is Blade, are you Blade right there? Yeah, I'm being J-Rock from up there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You guys like, keep calling me Daywalker. Who's the fucking racist? Yeah, yeah, seriously. <laughs> what was his name again? He had a full um, name in Blade. Jonathan Blademan. Oh God, I gotta look <laughs> I up. I believe. What's Blade's Blade, full Jonathan name? Blademan. Yeah, Jonathan Blademan. Yeah, yeah, I read Blade comics. It's Ken Jonathan, Bladerson. <laughs> he's, he's Jonathan Blademan. He actually teamed up with the Eternals. You know, Judy Eternal. Judy Eternal. I know <laughs> Judy Eternal. It's Eric Brooks. It was that's Eric very Brooks. unremarkable. Yeah, yeah that's Brooks. right. It was yeah. Eric. Brooks. So yeah, they now we get to the sewer level and they're hunting during the day. So they're all wearing the thick leather yes. and the body thing. And like Ron Perlman puts his hand in leather and it starts like melting. It's like, wait a minute, back up. It was in the previous film. They wore the motorcycle suits and they were fine. In the previous film, Deacon Frost put a bunch of sunblock on and he was fine for a while. Oh, that beach scene with the umbrella and all that? Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, he didn't even have an umbrella. It was oh, just right. sunblock. Oh, you're talking but, about you're talking about the scene. Okay, so this is this is the scene where they're all in wetsuits. Suddenly yeah. they're all in fucking wetsuits. Yeah, because they're in the sewer. But like you think it the more padded they are, the more shielded they are from the sun, but he puts his hand out and starts burning with the glove on. I'm like, well, how is Deacon Frost able to get away with it? Like there's a lot of inconsistencies here. Sewers and movies never have enough poop. They yeah, really don't. They don't. No, they really don't. That Ninja Turtles ruined what sewers really are, guys. They lie to you. Yeah. yeah. There's yeah. there's no hold on, where's the camera? There's no pizza down there. There's no, <laughs> trust me. I mean, there's pizza, but it's been eaten already. Yeah. <laughs> this is probably the biggest disappointment with Donnie Yen. The setup is cool where the big barbarian guy is behind him. And I like that he's hidden in shadow. So when he comes to the light, you see he's fully transformed. Yeah, yeah. And then they don't show his fight. You know what that scene reminds me of? That reminds me of The Simpsons when like uh, they owe money, where Marge owes money to the mafia. <laughs> And then the Asian mafia comes to collect. Oh, like, oh, that little guy's gonna do something. I want to see. Out. He's gonna be really cool. And then they as go inside the door. Ah! Like, <laughs> that guy hasn't done anything yet. <laughs> Imagine having one of the baddest ass like action at coordinators ever, and just just be like, now cut cut a scene out. <laughs> We don't need to see it. It's fine. Yeah. Can we get more scenes of like techno dancing and blood yeah. cocaine? And then at this point, freaking, uh, because the one vampire didn't like that he was called like Buttercup or something. Mm -hmm. So him and Pearlman are going to try and kill Whistler because they don't like him, I guess. Um, he blew a kiss at me. I don't like that shit. Yeah. I, I don't play that shit. And then the Tumblr vampire, the Tumblrina vampire, yes. she's like, oh no, my boyfriend is a Reaper now. I got to run. And she's like, I gotta get out of here. Let me open up the manhole. I I forgot the sun is outside. Oh to... yeah! <laughs> that scene, I'm like, yeah. you were, you know it's daytime. Yeah. Well, when people panic, you know. That's true. Um, and I do like that the vampires burn red, but the reapers burn blue. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you know what? I didn't catch that. <laughs> yeah. Hold they on. give them two really? different colors. Yeah. You know what? I. I, that makes a lot of sense. I too have been so panicked that I can't tell it's day out. <laughs> it has happened to me before. It's too. hard. It's difficult. Mm -hmm. The sun is so small. <laughs> yeah, you just barely, barely notice it, really. <laughs> Jesus. She um, was like, eclipse, eclipse, eclipse. Please, please let there be an eclipse. Please let there be an eclipse. <laughs> she, oh, I think there crown? was a total solar eclipse tonight. Your solar eclipse. Ah, it's tomorrow. <laughs> oh, no. Ah. I hear ice cream trucks. It must be night. <laughs> <laughs> the Reapers actually set a trap for all of them. 
Uh, and I like that Blade figures out. He's like, oh shit, get out of the water. They're all there. But yeah, he uses the light bomb and he starts counting down. The countdown's pretty cool. Yeah. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. That's going to be my New Year's countdown. The ten. Nine. And he's getting like the sword but lined up. you need up. to time it. You need to time yeah, you need it, yeah. to time it. Because uh, it's 10 seconds for it to blow up. But like, what are they doing underneath the water? And also, I guess they don't need to breathe, I guess, right? Yeah, I guess not. No, that's the other thing. The vampires don't need to breathe either. So mm. then what's the point? Why do they have lungs when they open it up? That's a good point. I mean, you see them gasping for air, so they're breathing. So maybe... Again, that's the problem with, like, sci-fi vampires. Mm. There's a lot of, like, well... That doesn't make it's not like Dracula is like a magic vampire. You turn into like dust. Like, right. like you, you question it less when it's magic vampires, but when it's sci fi vampires, yeah. it's like I have a lot of questions. Sci fi vampires, it's always like, hey guys, it's vampires, but also their teeth are tiny drills that spin. Yeah, it's like, okay, well, that doesn't really make a lot of sense. And it, it's stupid. It's stupid. <laughs> uh, but I like that the light shoots out and he slices them all up as yeah. they're jumping out of the light. That's pretty cool. I guess the water couldn't shield them from the light. This will come back in a second. Um, oh, and I do like that Whistler is uh, attracting the Reapers. Like yes. he, They're kicking his ass, and he's like, little do they know, I'm like spraying shit to get these fuckers around here. Yes, and then we get one of the badass Wesley Snipes lines. You obviously do not know who you are fucking with. By the way, one of the few lines he has where he's not answering somebody's question. Yes. Also, probably the longest line that he was given. Mm -hmm. You know what? I bet you there's the deleted scene where the ra the Reapers are like, who are we fucking with? And that's what he answered. Who are we fucking with? You obviously. <laughs> I don't know, but I'm going to ask if you could blush. <laughs> Again? Again? By the way, I do like the scene of Ron Perlman running away from the Reapers and there's lights and every time he runs yeah. through the light, his head burns a little bit. Uh, but yeah, he like lights the, the big light bomb, which like wipes them all out. And remember, they couldn't even survive underneath the water because mm -hmm. the, they jumped out. Anyway, Nissa survives because she jumps underwater. David well, Goyer. To be fair, she had plot armor. If you're be if she to be did fair, have plot armor. She did put plot armor earlier on. I would forgive it if she came out and was just totally charred. Like yeah. like Donald Logue in yes. the first movie. But no, they're like, no, she's pretty. We can't do that. First of all, I'm not gonna, we're not going to get that girl and turn her up. <laughs> She's not, a, as I like to call it, a Ron Perlman type. That's what you'd be like. Ron Perlman getting burned every three seconds of that yeah. movie. Right, you brought up earlier. Right, Ron Perlman's always like, ow, 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 ow. ow. <laughs> and they're about to say, oh, she should have come out all charred, like Donald Logue in The Tao of Steve. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a good movie. I like Tao of Steve. Great movie. Um, <laughs> Nomak bumps into Whistler, but he keeps him alive. And he's like, hey, buddy, I got some information for you. Blade saves uh, Nisa. He gives her his blood. And then the vampires turn on him, as expected. Of course. Which he called out earlier. He's like, oh, yeah, they're going to fuck us the first chance they get. <laughs> like, like, But while we're there, we might as well learn a bunch of stuff. <laughs> Nisa has daddy issues. Yeah. But thank God, because she's into Blade. Thank God she's the girl with daddy issues who wants to date the opposite of their dads. Yes. Yes. The, 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 one, the one to be like, I'll show him. Yeah. Uh, a but, shiny Pokemon. Yeah. But the girls who want to actually date their dads, because you imagine finding a guy who looks like that. Dude. I mean. Like, how many? Like, there can't be that many of them out there that look like Nosferatu. <laughs> I mean, I mean, everybody like in DC kind of does, but like outside yeah. of that, I mean, vampire. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know what you mean, Tony. I know exactly what you mean. Okay, fine. Holly, some there's probably some Hollywood elite that's looking real sexy. To her. <laughs> you ever seen Weinstein now? <laughs> oh God, he looks rough. Yeah. Um, also, I feel like we should be talking about the Brian Singer stuff more, and we're not. But that's a different thing. It was never proven. Okay. Yeah, sure. Okay. Never proven. It's all right. It was OJ. <laughs> hey, Homer Simpson. Yeah. Homer and he's an innocent man when it comes to murder. He did Hom some other stuff. <laughs> Homer Simpson said it best. If I can't see it, it's not illegal. That's true. Good point. Very good point. <laughs> right. The Simpsons. They're, they're, they're... That's why we closed our eyes when we broke in here. <laughs> the Simpsons predicted this break in. That is, oh. you know, that's like a Trailer Park Boys mentality. Oh, if you drag their lawn furniture to the curb, it counts as trash. It's you trash, trash, it? you take yeah. it. Yeah. What's, what's. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it turns out. Again, total work of fiction. It turns out this virus was designed in a lab and it got out of hand and they tried to suppress that information. Uh, it turns out Nosferatu is Nomak's father. 
which we all kind of saw, saw that like, coming. Yeah, we all kind of saw that coming. They uh, both glisten. That makes sense. They both they glisten. glisten. <laughs> they, they, they're gorgeous. So yeah, and this is the this is the stupid twist. That that twist was dumb, but this twist is even dumber. Where it's like, uh oh, Whistler wasn't the traitor. It was Scuds. It's like, yeah, yeah, we know. By the way, he got his tattoo on his lip to hide it. It's like that's you, not the worst one. You talk. The worst one comes when we talk when we watch and talk about Blade Three. That there's the there's yeah. the worst location of one, and that's not in this movie. Yeah, but it's like like I if I was Blade, I would. Oh, by the way, Blade like saved him. He, the, apparently, Norman Reedus he was gonna have a three way, and they turn out to be vampires, and Blade saved him. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, if I like, he clearly got turned somewhere in that time, and if I was just like, oh hey, what's up? Hey, Scott, what's on your lip? It's sore. Did you just get a tattoo? I feel like there's a tattoo on your lip. Yeah. Hey, Scott, did you eat a bee? Go like this. Dude, put it real, on, go there real quick. Put it on your dick or your asshole. I don't think Blade is ever going to look. Right on the hole. Yeah, like right on the Or put it where Ryan Reynolds put it in the third one. Right above your happy trail for no reason. That was weird. Well, no, it wasn't because... He needed... Ryan Reynolds needed to show up. He needed a ass. reason to I show know, the happy I know, trail. I know, I know. Yeah. Dude, dude, the moms dragging their teenage sons to Blade Trinity needs something. That worked out for him. I mean, anyway. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Uh, it turns out Scud's the traitor. And he takes the bomb off Ron Perlman. And then, like, what Blade is just like, by the way, I knew it all along, and it's not a dud. It's like, uh, then what was the whole point of that? Wasn't why didn't it just silver set it off in the head? Like, wait, it's silver nitrate. Like, yeah. why does Norman Reedus blow up like a vampire whose blood's exploding? I, like, an explosion that big that would blow him up would also damage the room. But it's just him who blows up into, like, a pile of blood. But it is funny they did like I knew you were gonna double cross you so I double cross you then anyway it was a triple cross I'm like yeah okay then then why just blow then you should oh you know why he didn't blow it up when when it was back of his head he just wanted to taunt him before he did it just do it when it was in his head I like to play yeah. with my food yeah yeah <laughs> blow up his head and then kill Norman Reedus mm -hmm. like this is what Austin Powers I have a gun in my room <laughs> I'll go grab it right now I love that line yeah. <laughs> Um, so yeah, apparently the, the whole Reaper thing, the, uh, Nosferatu, he's just like, I wanted to make another Daywalker, but I couldn't figure it out. It's like, well, now we have you. Let's drink a lot of your blood. Problem solved. Problem solved. So they're going to like completely drain him. Uh, but I do like that. Paul, oh, the IRS drained him. <laughs> Don't you worry. But I did like that Blade actually did learn something there. So he turns off their security. So Nomad can come in you know what and just start learn? fucking owning people. Yeah. Tax law. He did not learn tax law. <laughs> or he knew and just disregarded yeah, It's more like, you know, willful ignorance. Well, it's because they kept telling him, hey, Wesley, you need to pay your taxes. And he would go, nice. <laughs> yeah. Some motherfucker's always trying to skate uphill. <laughs> Sir, this is an audit. You're in big trouble. <laughs> the audit takes place at a nightclub. <laughs> so when do you plan on paying? Do you want to do it in an installment? <laughs> <laughs> so, so a red light, red light, uh, laser going at the fucking IRS agent. <laughs> so question: Whistler goes to save Blade, and he shoots the familiar through the floor. This happened in the movie The Jackal, right? Yes. Okay. All right. Because I, I knew I'm like I know there's a Bruce Willis movie. I know in Die Hard he does the and Jack Black's in the Jackal and Jack Black's in the Jackal. And I I know in Die Hard Bruce Willis shoots through the floor and kills the one guy or the table. But I remember I'm like the only other movie I could think of like I think I remember the Jackal. There's someone coming down the stairs and they just get shot through the floor and then Bruce Willis like pops out from underneath the <laughs> stairs. Um, and that reminds me I want to watch the Jackal. I haven't watched that I haven't watched the Jackal in years. You know what I rewatched recently? Eraser. Oh, oh yeah. with Arnold. Great movie, dude. And I'm like, I forgot that you could just make an action movie that's not part of a property and it'd be like, you'd watch it and be like, oh, that was interesting. You're not a big fan of the Eraserverse? They made a sequel. <laughs> no, they didn't. Dude, it came out last Eraser year. Eraser 2. Get the fuck out. I'm last, that up. Eraser 2 rewrite. It's either this year or last year on HBO Max. I remember it popped up. I'm like, is this... And it's just like, oh, what's it called? Like Reborn or something? Eraser Reborn. I was kidding, bro. Are you serious? Who's in yeah. it? Dominic Sherwood. I don't know who the fuck that is. Bunch of no names. I'm like, oh. hey, you guys, you missed your window on an Eraser Okay, no, sequel. no, no. Hold on. Directed by John Pogue, who wrote The Skulls. That'll be good. That'll the be good. The Skulls fucking rule, man. <laughs> that movie was so bad. Where's the like, Eraser? It's just like, okay, well. The window to make a sequel to that was in the direct video sequel boom of the early 2000s. You missed that window. Okay. So he wrote, here's the screenplays this guy wrote. The Skulls. Yeah. Rollerball, the remake. Oh. The Skulls 2. 
Ghost Ship, and Ghost Ship, Ghost Ship, Ghost Ship. which I reviewed, which yep. we reviewed. Oh, Ghost Ship. I love that movie. That is uh, my co-host Johanna. She that was her first episode, and she loves Haunted that movie. Hill, Thirteen Ghosts, Ghost Ship. That's the the holy that holy. I Trinity, reviewed the castle. All movies. three of those except Haunted Hill got kicked off YouTube. Thanks, ah. Warner Brothers. Speaking of Eraser, Blade erased all those vampires, he did. all those reapers. <laughs> See what I did? Brought it back. Brought segue. it back. So, um, <laughs> why are the guards not armed with UV lights? The one thing that can kill a reaper? They couldn't afford so many because they used all their money on silver. I yes. really didn't think ahead. I guess, but it's just, I'm watching. Also, UV light is way cheaper than silver. You would think they would have been utilizing it. Like, I get it more. hurts them, but I'm like, well, why wouldn't you just get human guards and give them the UV oh, yeah. look? Like, because they're constantly like trying to shoot and stab Nomad. It's like, you know, that doesn't work. Fair. Get the fucking UV lights on them and get humans. To, you have familiars. They could just those big god lights. See? Yeah, <laughs> those big god lights that Blade had. It's like, hey, let's just fucking steal those and put it at the front door. That way Nomax shows up, just blast them. <laughs> No, They're guys. They're so stupid. Guys, guys, I'm one of you. I swear. I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> There's the thumbnail. <laughs> so, <laughs> so Blade, uh, he takes a bloodbath. Yes. And yes. then he becomes Super Blade. Which, again, it's never implied that if he has more blood, it makes him stronger. Blood, mm. he probably likes blood better than the fake stuff he's been yeah. taking, but. It doesn't imply that it makes him stronger. It's just supposed to, like, vampires aren't strong because of the amount of blood they drink. Vampires yeah. need blood to live. Yeah. yeah. So, I Well, mean, he was dying, I guess. But he's, like, wiping people out. And then this is when wrestling moves start showing up. He does oh, a God. vertical suplex on a guy. And then I, I, this is something I would fucking do. But this isn't, like, a mainstream movie. He vertical suplex, then it cuts, and he comes from the bottom of the frame with a cartoony whip -a sound, sound effect. He's like, whoop! By, by the way, if you guys are wondering why I don't usually shoot episodes, it's because I live near a fire station. I don't know if the mics are picking it up. No, we're being quiet, so it does. By the way, when the uh, <laughs> when the volunteer firefighters need to be alerted, how do you think they get alerted? With that loud siren? Yes. Oh. With it. Hold on. Not that one. We have an air raid siren. Nice. That will go off all times of day to alert the volunteer firefighters. Where do you live? Mega City One? I know, I need I need to move a few <laughs> miles away from here. He, he, lives, uh, he lives in Sim City 2000, reticulating At spawn. least I'm not uh, where I used to live down the street, which was a main street, and all the fire stations would go right past my apartment. So I would literally live stream and just stop having to talk for two minutes and wait for them to be done. Hey. Do the show in the fire, in a fire station. Hey. <laughs> I'll do it Tony. there. Look on the bright side. You don't live under a grate at a rave. <laughs> <laughs> and really, if you think about it, that's all we get asked for in these hard times. You don't want to yeah. live in a grate. Some motherfuckers all be living on the, under a grate. There are grave. worse places to live, like uh, an apartment above a bowling alley that's below <laughs> another bowling alley. Oh my God, you're just sandwiched. Like Grimes. Oh like the like Grimes, yeah. the Simpsons. <laughs> You've been to space? <laughs> You've never, never been. been. <laughs> anyway, anyway. Um, he slices Ron Perlman in two, and this is the only time that the glasses come off Ron yes. Perlman yes. as he's dissolving. <laughs> um, Nissa turns on her father. Yes. She's like, you know what, dad? You kind of fucked up, and you might screw me over like you did your son that I didn't fucking know about. And why are you so shiny? And why are you so shiny? What do you drink specifically <laughs> yeah. that makes you different than a, are you a he vampire? Goes, he goes, Vaseline, sweet Vaseline. <laughs> Cocoa butter. Uh, and then Novak shows up, uh, and he just straight up kills him by draining him of his blood. Like, yes. he cuts like an artery. I'm like, does that not heal for him? Can you Maybe. just slice a vampire's throat? Or Apparently. is he just so old it doesn't... Well, do vampires have blood running through them? I know they eat it, but I don't yes. know. Yes. I don't know how vampires work. To yeah, be I don't know vampire I know law. the stories. But, like... In the first film, like, cause remember we were like with Donald Logue, like, how does he keep surviving? Mm -hmm. And I think we were like, oh, maybe he's like a little older and stronger. But it's like, does that where do you hit like a point where then it suddenly goes in reverse and then you get weak again? Like, what the fuck is going on here? Um, it's I, always, I always had the theory that like, at least for some of the old vampires, depending on the movie, it's like vampires do age, but just way slower. 
than like people. That's why, not that they could die, but no. like they look, you know, they start getting shiny and, and I, oily. And, and, and I always thought what it was was the older the vampire and the longer they've been feeding, the more like a creature they no. end up mm-hmm, looking sure. like. I, I, yeah, or there's like, again, yeah, it depends on what kind depends of. Or your you're an old vampire that lives under a grate underneath the rave. Exactly. Do you ever see Daybreakers? With Sam Neill and uh, no. Ethan with Ethan Hawke. Hawk. Fucking amazing movie. That movie was. Wait, no, no. Yeah, Daybreakers was the one where they had the harvesting blood thing. Yes, yes yeah, I had Daybreakers. Daybreakers was really yes. interesting, and really yeah. good. The problem is, it came out during like the Twilight thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was so totally people unreal. were people were grouping vampires into just love stories, and they they slept on it. But the cool thing they had in there was, if you don't feed on like blood, you become more bat like. Yeah, yeah. Like like whatever the thing that caused it, or if you start feeding on vampire blood. You end up being more bat-like, so you Day- have to drink human blood. Daybreakers fell apart in the third act, but the first part of the movie is pretty good. I yeah. remember it being fine. No, it was a good movie. It was it, just eh. no. It was one of those ones where it was re- it was good, but just kind of towards the end, you were like, "All right, it's like twenty minutes too the, long." The, like Willem Dafoe finding the cure for vampirism by having a car accident that was pretty I fucking know, funny. Fucking amazing. That was pretty funny. <laughs> and look, I like Ethan Hawke, but in like two hours and ten minutes of Ethan Hawke. Yeah. Hey, he's Power been having 40. a good resurgence lately. I know, I know. I like Ethan Hawke. I love Willem Dafoe. Yeah. I will fucking watch no, anything. Like Ethan Hawke, yeah, Ethan Hawke had a good year. I like I liked the Black Phone. Uh, he was fine. I did the Black Fo- the Blumhouse Black Phone Haunted House at Halloween Horror Nights. I didn't get to go. It awesome. I know. I was it supposed was to go, and I just awesome. couldn't, get, I couldn't afford it. <laughs> Rice uh, goes, Rice goes. Yeah, so the Black, fo- the Black Phone uh, yeah, the Black Phone Haunted House was really cool, but like, I think I know how the movie ends. <laughs> yeah, you might know how it is. And speaking of a black phone, that's what uh, Wesley Snipes calls his phone in the movie Blade. <laughs> Did I bring it back? <laughs> but real quick, uh, Ethan Hawke is in my favorite movie of the year, The Northman. Oh, oh yeah, dude, great awesome. fucking movie. So anyway, um, let me see. Oh, so Nosferatu dies and he turns into stone and cracks? Yes. I thought that was pretty funny. Again, I think like that might be an That's Ann- why he's always wet, because from that he dries and turns to stone. <laughs> oh, he's moist clay. For he's me, I moist. feel like that's like an Anne Rice thing, because she had the thing, like the Queen of the Dam, not, well, the movie version, like they're so old that they turn into marble at one yeah. point. I think that's what they were going for. It didn't quite work. Um, Nomak uh, attacks Nissa for some reason. Uh, and him and Blade have one final fight, and it's actually pretty awesome. Even some of the CGI body doubles aren't too bad right, in this right. scene. Uh, but then, but then Nomak does some elbow drops. Yeah, there, like, was, there was some, yeah. there was a quite a bit of wrestling. But it comes stuff. in, it becomes in a little late in the movie. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. oh, there's a lot of wrestling. And then stuff. by the third one, Triple H is in it. They're, yeah. they're all in with wrestling. Yeah, really? Dude, oh, shit. I do like when uh, Nomak is on top of him. And I guess his arm is broken. He just throws it up to the camera and you hear like the bones coming back together and coming back. And then he like punches the shit out of him. Uh, but Blade is able to get the sword right in the side of the heart where it's weakest. And uh, I do like Nomak just doesn't pull it out. He's just like, ah, eh, you know what? I'm done. Yeah. Boom. It's like, well, you were really about being alive and turning people like a second ago. And you still have time to take the fucking sword out. Nomad just realized he lives under the grade of a rave. And the t- <laughs> the runtime of this movie is way too long now. He can so make like, new Reaper care. friends, but then they'll just die in a few days. Look, so. if, I have to be, if I have to listen to 10 more minutes of throbbing techno, <laughs> I'm going to fucking lose it. <laughs> <laughs> to Nomad's like... Nomad just at one point looks. Nomad at one point looks at the camera. And he's like, "Caramel, is that enough for you to get your Hellboy? Because this is getting ridiculous." Yeah, uh, but then yeah, that's a this good is, point. This is getting ridiculous. But then we have uh, Nissa's just like, "Hey, I'm dying. I'm turning. Mm-hmm. Uh, I want to see the sunset before I die." Oh, and this is scene. the first. This is the first time I remember seeing this done in a movie where like there's a sad scene mm-hmm. like in a, there's. Obviously, vampires being killed by sunlight, but this is like a sad, like, I just want to see the sunlight before I die. It's the first time I could think of it. Uh, it's happened in True Blood and a few things. And even Midnight Mass, there's like a really sad fucking scene. But this is the first one for me. Hey, wait, he's doing he's doing the whole, hey, I never really show love for you, but I've always loved you. And she's like, I, I don't want to die. Shh. <laughs> Take me back. At- Shh. Wait, we have a lab. Let's go back to the lab. Maybe Shh. we can work this out. Shh. Into it's over now. It's over now. But no, I'm, I'm good. I'm, I'm good. fine. I feel better. I feel better. I feel better. It was. She's, good. she's holding the manhole. Like, wait, 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 wait. Okay. Wait. Is this is this is this Monty Python? I'm not I'm dead. dead. <laughs> now I'll be so dead in a minute. <laughs> I'm just very badly charred. I think I'll go for a walk. <laughs> 
<laughs> so she dies. She turns mm-hmm. into dust. Mm-hmm. Um, and then it flashes forward a oh, little bit. Oh, sorry, real quick. When she turns into dust, I did, I did remember one other thing this. Also, at the level which they burn up is so different depending on the vampire. Like, yeah. someone's just like... And her, it's like, look like... Look like a, 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 a Spider Man disappearing in in, uh, in Tony's arm. Yeah, like, yeah. Oh, look, it's so beautiful. It depends what emotion they're trying right, to convey right, during right, right. the scene. So months later, uh, we see that there's this club, and Blade has become a sex worker. I assume, uh, and just Which by co- makes sense. He needs the money. That and just by coincidence. That guy from earlier is there, and I know Blade. I, this in my head, it's like Blade's like, look, money's tight. I'm gonna go strip for these dudes. Money's tight, yeah. so am I. <laughs> I'm gonna strip for these dudes at the club. It's gonna be my side hustle. Mm-hmm. But then it turned out to be that guy, and Blade didn't want to be embarrassed. He's like, "Huh? Nope. I was always here waiting for you." Hey, Blade, why are you covered in glitter? Don't worry about it. Oh, that's right. just the glistening, dog. <laughs> yeah. All right, it's my time. You smell like a disgusting amount of, of Phoenix Axe body spray, Blade. I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> Blade, that wig over there looks like from the movie Tu Wong Fu. Is there anything you want to tell us? Nope, I gotta kill you, vampire. It's a sex worker. Someone walks up to Blade and goes, hey, do you blush? (laughs) Oh, come on. That's specifically why I stopped being a vampire. So, yeah, that guy died. (laughs) Dude. And, uh, yeah, that was was Blade 2. I enjoy it. There are some weird logical things that make no sense. I think, so Guillermo del Toro had no input writing this. No, it's just directing. And right? I think even he has issues with some of the script and whatnot. Uh cuz after this, he writes like pretty much everything he's involved yep. with. His uh anthology series is pretty good on Netflix. Hit the miss. Cabinet of Curious. Yep. Every anthology thing is hit or miss. Yeah, that's except the movie right. Creep Show, which is solid all the way through. And Creep Show too. No, not Creep Show too. And Creep Show. Creep Show too, show too. has Creep one show good too. bit and all everything three else of them sucks. Great. Creep Show too. No, awesome. the, no Creep Show is great show, great. Love. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Daddy and Daddy are fighting. <laughs> <laughs> so, while I pull up Harry Knowles Blade 2 uh, review, uh let, let me know what are your final thoughts on Blade 2? Um it is still the best Blade movie out of the 3. Um, it's definitely does not as cool as I remember it, but then again, you know, it's it, some stuff that didn't age that that didn't age that great. But no. would I watch it again if it's on? Of course, I'd watch it again if it was on. Yeah, yeah. Why wouldn't you? Yeah. What do you think, Passy? Uh, I thought it was. I mean, definitely doesn't hold up like it used to. Mm-hmm. Um, definitely a little too long, but I but I get it. You know, back back then back then movies movies could be a little longer. They did that. They did that more, but. Yeah. At the end of it all, I I was really wasted when I watched it, and I think I would have to be that level of wasted to watch it again. It's a good idea to be inebriated when you watch Blade movies. It makes the experience way better. Don't watch it at uh, 1 a.m. after you've been filming in a cold, unfinished building. Mm-hmm. That's what I did last night, and I had to watch the end of it this morning. Jesus. Yeah, yeah. And don't watch it after taking mushrooms. Yeah, guy don't did. do that. Don't do that. Towards the end, they got really weird. Now, there, there was a point where he was just yelling notes at me. Yeah. Now, <laughs> Harry Knowles from Ain't It Cool News. Oh, God. And, every, and by the way, I should have no problem reading this because Harry Knowles is a beloved icon who uh, has had A list celebrities on his show and has been in A list movies. Yeah, he sure has. But yeah, here is a you have to go to legacy.ainitcool.com to look up his Blade 2 review. From March 17th, 2002. Uh, this is famously one of the most cringiest things ever okay. written. You ready? You ready? I'm excited. Okay. So, guys, we read the Harry Knowles thing, and I realized there's no way this video will get monetized if I leave it in. So I'm putting <laughs> it on Patreon. Have fun <laughs> listening to it on Patreon. Uh, and watching their reactions. That was the worst thing I've ever heard someone read. <laughs> the worst thing I've ever heard a grown man say. You've never even heard of that review before? No. no. Okay. No. Anyway, now that we're all in a great mood, uh, where can we find you guys? I don't want to be around anymore. <laughs> Hanging by my neck from a rafter. <laughs> Bessie, oh. Bessie, where can we find you? You can find me rumble.com slash midnight riff party. Also midnight riff party dot locals dot com. We do like late night riffs. We make fun of old VHS stuff. I just got a whole bunch of tapes and a VCR. So we've been doing some crazy shit. Nice. Um, if you want to know when the shows are on, either check out the locals or follow me on Twitter at Joy Pessy. Okay. How about you? What shows do you do? I don't want to do anymore now. I'll do that. <laughs> 
you guys have to watch that Patreon thing. You have no idea what he put us through. Um, um, what did I? Um, I mean, Rumble.com, Daywave. Go search yeah. for Daywave and then Revenge of the Sis. Okay. okay, those are those are my. I am such a good mood when I got here, and if wait till you hear what he said, I. It's, I mean, you could just look it up, but I think you should pay no, the two dollars. No, 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 no. To listen not, and see the reaction. No, 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 no. <laughs> so he, yes, that is. He that is, is he did he nailed it. He delivered it in the <laughs> in the soothing erotic way it was meant to be delivered. So that is Blade 2. Cruise control. I don't feel like I keep wanting to say cruise control, and I don't know why. And every third movie I always say Blade uh, Blade 3 Rise of the Machines. <laughs> Blade, Blade 2, the search for Tokyo Cruise Control. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh that was it. Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, well, I, w I would say thank you guys uh, for yeah, coming over, off, but I didn't bro. invite you. We're already here. We're more than even now after that, but <laughs> I'm all just right. Gonna go back in the if closet. anything, you owe me an apology. Now, listen, guys. If we talk about Blade Three, just just call me ahead of time. We can do it at the store. We can have fun. You don't have to break in. That okay? We'll see. Yeah, okay, we'll just, but or we could just not leave. <laughs> no, you definitely need to leave. No, no, no. I'll Let's start. I'll read. Ain't it cool? Okay, I saw Blade 2. <laughs> ah, get in there. Hey, man. Ah, we gotta okay, go. Hey, they're telling us we gotta go. And <laughs> remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out our other videos and Patreon page.